Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm reading from the book of Nehemiah. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah, and it came to pass in the month of Chislew in the 20th year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, that Hanani, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted, and prayed before the God of heaven. And Nehemiah did this. He prayed to God. He said, I beseech thee, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive, and thine ear eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments, which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If you transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. And of course that happened in the captivity. But if you turn to me and keep my commandments and do them, Though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the earth, yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people, whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants, who desire to fear thy name, and prosper. I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer. This is a wonderful passage. It's a passage in which the children of God had disobeyed God, wouldn't listen to the prophets, the preachers of their day. And uh, because of that, God finally had to discipline them, and he um, had them dispersed into other nations. They were actually there homeland was uh, run over by foreigners and even their temple was destroyed. The walls of their city, the capital city in Jerusalem were destroyed and uh, it was pretty pretty uh, terrible times for them. When they finally admitted that they had sinned against God and weren't listening to him, then they remembered that God had said, if you'll, if you'll turn to me and if you'll obey me, uh, my commandments, then I'll forgive you and heal you and so uh, and restore you to your land. So Nehemiah was thinking about all this and he began praying to God and ask, reminding God of what he had promised and admitting where they had gone wrong. He was honest with God, didn't try to shine it on there. And God heard him and of course the result of that is that uh, the king uh, made the decision to release him to go back to rebuild the city uh, and the walls at Jerusalem. He was not distracted. It would have been very easy for him living in another country, not being in his homeland. It would have been e easy for him to be discouraged, distracted by the circumstances, but instead he remained focused on his people and upon God and upon their nation and the city. And he pleaded with God for God's help. And because he was an obedient man and was honest, admitted his sin, asking for forgiveness that God forgave and restored them back to their land. It's an amazing story about Israel. They didn't deserve it, but God forgave and restored them. How about you? Are you in a situation where you got distracted by the things in this world? You got maybe got away from God, got away from worship, don't go to church anymore. Maybe there's things in your life that shouldn't be there. I want to say those are all distractions. Distractions from who you are and what you're supposed to be doing with your life. 
So I'm pleading with you to consider being honest with God, admit it, ask Him to forgive you, to restore you, and to help you to do the things you're supposed to be doing, things that please God and will bless you and those around you. Okay? If you want to talk to me about it ever, just give us a call at the church. We'll make an appointment. Otherwise, I'll see you Sundays at 1020. God bless you.